Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Bradgen here and welcome to a really short re-engineering video today. Now, the reason why it's a really short one was because I was working on a project of mine that kind of failed and it didn't really work out. I've tried several, several solutions to get it to work and it still doesn't quite work well for me. So instead I've decided to make something small, something miniature, but I'll still show you my progress I made on the other project. Maybe you guys can come up with a better solution than what I did. But right now, this is just a particle system using the spherical gravity generators as well as other gravity generators and uh, the whole ton of ore. I think it's about 220k ore, so 220,000 uh, pieces of kilograms of stone in there. So I thought that was kind of cool to just kind of show you guys. And the way this is done is quite neat. I have a small gravity generator on the top there that kind of forces all the ore down. I can show you guys that right now. So up the top here. It only affects like a really, really small radius. I can't really show you that right now unless I go see right there. You see gravity 2.4. The second I get out of it, it's gone back to normal. So basically, the pieces will fly around uh, until they get to the top there when they're affected by the other grav gen. Then they push down, but then they're out of the range again, and then they go back up here again. So basically, a really, really simple uh, spherical type motion. Well, not really spherical. But it, it does look neat nonetheless. I also have another thing I made as well. It's a lot simpler than this. But I thought this just looks really, really cool. I, I might put this up in the workshop if you guys really want this to be up there. But um, anyways, let me show you what I was actually originally working on. And I'll show you guys the other room over there in a second. So basically, I tried to make a soccer table. Now, if you don't know what a soccer table is, it's quite simple. Uh, it basically has a few players stuck on a stick like so. Then you'll have a player standing on either side of the table spinning these sticks uh, around in a circle or moving them back and forth to move the players to kick the balls. Now, that sounds really weird of a description, but that's basically it. It's just soccer on a table using poles and sticks. But um, whilst this worked for the most part, I did have it set up on one side where it just has a piston and a rotor or a rotor and piston like it is right now. Um, going out with a, f a very thin pole here with the players on the stick and then the pole goes out to the other side of the level. Now this worked for the most part however it got extremely wobbly and the piston itself just doesn't handle rotating and stopping suddenly uh, very well. It, it either breaks or it um, just wobbles around way too much and this thing in the middle here starts to cause some damage. So what I did was I increased this a little bit further out here and added a merge block. Now this worked okay however it puts a lot of stress on the pieces and eventually they'll end up snapping or in multiplayer they'll just break instantaneously which means that to play this thing in multiplayer it wouldn't really work therefore i've decided to stop trying to make this concept now, like i said i've tried several different methods of trying to do this um but it, regardless of what i do it doesn't really work out too well in most cases it just breaks which is kind of sad because i was really looking forward to getting this up and running but regardless of that I decided to make this instead to kind of calm myself down and relax a little, which admittedly I, it, I don't know, it's, I find it relaxing to see these bits of ore floating around in space with the gravity generators in like a really peaceful like motion, like that there looks kind of intimidating but still kind of cool nonetheless. Now I have tried to make a shield out of this if anyone was wondering, um, using stone armor kind of rotating around a ship, I did try that during my last stream. And whilst it worked, it wasn't too effective. Uh, you need a ton of ore to get a decent shield. But regardless, let's get inside the seat here. And let's uh, let, let's control it for a bit. And let's show you guys what it kind of looks like. So basically, if I just show you guys my uh, cockpit here. You guys can see I have control over everything. Now there is a gravity generator on top, rotating around slowly. Which causes these ore on top here to kind of spin around. I can redirect it like so, by turning it around like that. I can also turn off the gravity generator on top by pressing 2, which means that all the ore will just eventually accumulate around the grav gen in the middle, which I think is kind of cool. It looks like a little orby thing, whatever. Uh, and then if I wanted to, I can actually turn off the one in the middle as well, which kind of causes them to just slowly float out at their own means. Uh, 4 is just simply to spit out more ore, but all the ore is in there right now. And 5 through to 8 allows me to toggle all the different lighting in there, just because I wanted to have different lights to have a look at it. So you can see how cool some of this actually looks. But yeah, I found blue and red uh, to look kind of cool. It looks really weird, but cool at the same time. So let me just turn off the lights I don't need on. That's blue, that's red. There we go. So now if I turn on the one in the middle here, I turn on the other one on top here so it starts spinning around. And then maybe turn this one off here. You'll see that once it gets towards blue, it goes really, really blue. But then when it gets to the front here, 
it goes really, really red. And I don't know, just the, the mixture of colors and everything looks really, really cool. If I can turn all of them on, if you guys really, really wanted me to do that. It doesn't look too good having it all on. It looks really, really weird. Uh, I got this view in here as well, just in case anyone wanted to see what it looked like inside. So if I sit back down here... And then if I go back to controlling myself, I can then control this however I wanted to to make it look like, uh, I don't know, make it look interesting. And seeing them kind of spread out and go back here and everything looks really, really cool, I'm not going to lie. So that's why I thought I'd do this instead, just because I wanted to see something relaxing. And I thought this, in my eyes, was kind of relaxing and kind of pretty at the same time. So yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this here. I guess if you wanted to, you can make your own and listen to some very peaceful music. I admit it works. It is actually very relaxing and you can have control over how it works and the patterns it does and emits. It just, I don't know. It looks really, really cool. And like I said, you can basically do whatever you want with it. Now I can make it even more crazier, you know, increasing the velocity of this thing here. So you have even crazier patterns like, like this, which I thought looked really, really cool because you almost get things into orbit here. It will the kind of the slightly orbiting, uh, but regardless, it still looks really, really weird, but really, really cool at the same time. Now, obviously, the gravity generator doesn't affect them if they're too far out, so you just have them kind of fling around on the outside here, and then you control them in like so. And you know, like I say, it, it just it looks cool, and that's why I made it because I, I like making cool looking things. But uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I thought you guys might like this a little bit, and uh, that was just the whole intention to make something cool looking. And it was let's try to mess around with a few the lights here. Turn off all the ones I don't want on. Oh, that looks weird. I, I do like the red light, I'm not going to lie. The red looks really, really cool with this. And then uh, the purple also looks really nice. And I, I guess if you're into blue, you can go with a, a blue lighting too. But yeah, it really, it really depends. I can have all the lights turn on to one color as well. I just, all, I just change it to different colors to make that uh, a little bit easier to see. But yeah, if I wanted to, I can turn all of them to one specific color here. And then you can see it like so on all these, on all the one color, sorry. So there we go, that's it, that's it, all one color. And I, I thought, I don't know, that actually looks really, really cool how you got them all orbiting around like that. I really want to actually have a look at that now. I haven't really said that to that high of a speed, but it looks kind of cool. You, 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 they'll eventually collide and then they'll get sucked into the center point, but still. Anyways, that does it for today's video. I mean, if you guys really want, I can put this up on the workshop. There's nothing really too special about it. You guys can easily make this yourself. Just make sure that the maximum objects is up quite high, else you'll get the ore disappearing once you get to a certain amount. But regardless of that, it looks kind of cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and my apologies for not getting my actual project finished or working. Uh, but I thought I'd show you guys this instead, because this was my little relaxation type thing. <laughs> So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.